Hey everyone, I am Izzy Noodles and welcome to Calm Before the Storm. This is quite an unusual one and please be warned that there will be some grisly and gruesome scenes. It's got quite a dark theme to this one. Now unfortunately I won't be doing no meds run for this one as there is far too much full damage to be taken. Bummer. So let's get started. So we start off in quite an enclosed area. Let me just have a wander around and show you what's what here. So through there, there is an area where there are rocks we can climb. Also, let me show you what's down here. To the right there, that's just a dead end. I don't know what that's for, it's a dead end. Seems like there should be a path. But over this way, there is a gate and we need a skull and a torch we need to light that wall torch there in order for this gate to open and that's actually the first order of business so come back up if you've been wandering around that is but also I'm just going to point out there is a section up there but we can't get to that yet so if you've been wandering around, it looks like there's actually nothing to do. It's a bit enclosed, as I've already said. It's a small area. But a lot of these great aisles, you can see, you can stand on them. So it gives quite good pointers for where to go. And you can see some flares on there as well. So just run and jump forward. This first one is a slope, so then just jump to here. Grab the flares. And you want to come to the highest point of this block and then you want to jump over we are at a new path also just part way along let me just check my sounds actually it sounds very quiet i think that might be better i'm not sure <laughs> But anyway, hop up to that section and then hop up again, and we have a small med pack. It really does sound quiet, I don't know why. I have had some trouble with it crashing as soon as I open my recording stuff, so that's annoying. Sure, it wasn't quiet before I opened it all and got it all sorted. But anyway, in this section, you can see through there, that's actually where I was standing and looked through. So these are the rocks that we can climb. So this is the starting point for climbing those rocks. We can't actually do it down below there. So you want to come to this slightly raised grey tile to the left and just hop on up. Jump over that little slope. Whoop. <laughs> Went in a zigzag. And don't forget, just follow the... Okay, never mind. <laughs> follow the grey path. I will meet you back there. <laughs> Okie dokie. I'm back. <laughs> Had a bit of an accident, but I'm okay now. Okay, so from this section, we're going to run and jump over to there. Just make sure you're near enough lined up. It's an easy enough jump. Up to here, and now we're going this way. Now these series of jumps can be very tedious, so I'm going to save. There will be a lot of saving during these jumps. Okay. Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> Why does she keep doing this? I'll take a step back. <laughs> and then do a running jump. Well. That didn't work either. I'm having a bad day. I'm always having a bad day when I'm recording. There we go, that's how it's done. So be at the tippy tip. 
And this one's quite annoying. You can just see it around the slope. That's where we're aiming. And you want to actually be a bit closer to the right. And we need to veer, but don't veer too soon. This is another saving spot, I'm afraid. <laughs> okay. Yeah, made it. So that one does take a few practices. Next, over to here. And to here, and now we're in a new section. So let's have a look, see what's occurring over here. And you will notice that boulder in front activates before we're anywhere near it. That's because it's got a task of breaking that rock. That is now a shortcut back up here. So the boulder's not there to squash you, it's there to create a shortcut. So, over here to the right there is a gate, that's actually a return path. And there are lamps on the wall that we need to light in a puzzle within there, so we'll get that, get to that soon. And over here in the red corner, there is a tree and it has torches on it. So these, this is where we're going to get a torch in order to light the other wall torch and that's where we're going to light the torch anyway. But before all that we need to ignite those lamps on the wall. But firstly I will get the skull because it is so very close. It's very close by, it's just on the top of these rocks. So from here you're aiming for that root that's hanging down. And I recommend saving because it can be tedious to jump off the root. You need to climb up once and you're aiming for the corner of this grey bit just here straight in front of Lara because that's the closest point and she does hop off backwards so you cannot really see what you're aiming for. So I, I do often try and find a point to line myself up at but it, it doesn't often work. <laughs> so mostly it's trial and error so let's see. Ooh, close. There we go. I just needed it to be a slight little... Oh my goodness, my words. <laughs> I just needed to be slightly closer to the guy dangling from the root. But now come to this highest point and up to there. Okay. And then from here you go straight up. And here we've got a load of bones just in a pile and we want the one that is a different colour to all the rest. This is our skull. So to get down safely, just go pretty much the same way down. And I'm going to drop straight to the bottom and use the shortcut to get back up. Okay, so now I'm going to find a way into that room so we can do the fire puzzles. Light all those lamps. So come along the edge look out for your grey patches and from here you want to jump and grab this sometimes she doesn't go around the corner so just let go and jump up again or climb up and she will slide down so just climb up and slide to grab and let go and just keep trying different things and she'll eventually get it it's only been the once where she wouldn't shimmy around and just come as far as it will let you. Okay. And then just hop the gap. Okay, and we can see there is this space here that we can kick and crawl on in. So this just takes us a little further round 
the edge of the ledges. And something that is quite interesting about this game is that you don't have any enemies whatsoever apart from the final boss. There are no enemies. It's mostly puzzle based, this one. And it is actually pretty difficult. So the puzzles are very well thought out. And next, come over to here. So here we are, just getting your bearings. You see where that lamp is, just around the corner to the right. That is the gate we want to open. So that's where we are. So just come around the corner and we will come to these amazing statues. How cool are they? So keep coming down, down the slope. Follow it around and we will enter a new room. Okay, so here we've got four barriers. They're actually quite insignificant, except for that one over there. That one has a sphere behind it. There is another sphere just up in the corner. One up in that corner. And there is one in a room up there. And another one out here. And the aim is to destroy all of these spheres. So just shoot that one through the wall. And we can see what that has done. It's like lit one of the lamps. So we can tell that this is what we're doing. We need to destroy all the orbs and the lamps will ignite. So while I'm down here, I just want to point out this cross. So make a note of the tiles and where they are. The lower tile is like a, a devil face. On the right is a skull and crossbone. At the top there is a face. And this one is broken, but you will tell later on that it is a little man. So just make a note of that. So now we're going to actually climb up here. We've got these vines we can climb up. Okay, and while we're up here, we can shoot that orb over there. There we go. May need to sidestep or turn a bit. And here is where we've got all of the different tiles. So uh, the aim is we have that cross over there and we need to place it in the correct place corresponding to the cross down below. And that is actually this space right here. So below there is the devil face, to the right there is the skull and crossbone, at the top there is a face, and to the left there is a little man. So that's where we need to move this cross to. So I believe you pull it out three and push it three. So once we've done that, a block will raise right under the spear, which I didn't actually show you. You may have seen it as I was looking around. It's currently right above me. Okie dokie. So now you can easily shoot this. Also just behind here there are some flares. And now we're going to shoot the orb that was up in that lower corner. So we actually have to drop down for this. So line yourself up how you think, like where you think it is, and you need to drop back and shoot it as you're dropping. So I do recommend saving in case you miss it. 
Okay, so if you look at my health, I have millimeter of health missing. <laughs> now hop back and shoot. I got it. And look how much health has been taken off me. Rude. <laughs> so now we're going to climb back up and get the last sphere, which is just behind that barrier over there. Okie dokie, so come on through to here. Up the slope. Slope. And through here we can see in the far corner, that's the red corner where that tree is that has the torches in them. So once we've lit in all of those lamps, this gate will open and we can go get a torch and light it. So here we need to get across to the other side and we need to move a cage in order to, in order to do that and the lever to move the cage is up there and you may have noticed a lot of these type of tiles all about the place and this is the only one that is a block so just pull that out twice and then we will be able to reach the lever Now you want to be a little more to the left because the ceiling is quite low. Oh no! Whoops! <laughs> okay, so where we put, pulled the block out from, there is a small med pack. And now we're going to hop the gap. So if we have a look, there is a boulder up there and that won't fall if you go in front of it. We actually want to get behind and push it. So come to here and climb up. Okay. So you might need to just readjust, turn a bit, sidestep a bit to get the boulder. And there we go. So all the lamps are lit and we can leave. But before I do, there are just a couple of things. There's something over here I want to show you because I think it's fantastic. We have a trap. If we come near here, the music gets a bit funny. And we have a large med pack just hanging there. So let's go and see what happens if we approach it. <laughs> we get some creepy sinister laughing and we have a scarecrow come out of nowhere and come down here. The aim of that is to push you down the slope, which actually is, it leads behind one of those barriers down below. And you can't, you're not actually allowed behind the barriers and you will burn up and die. So that's there for absolutely no reason. And I love it. It's just a clever little trap. <laughs> but now we want to just come back across. And before I leave, there is just a secret to claim, the first secret. So you want to pull this block as far as it will go all the way to the other side. So the secrets in this game are roses. And you can get a bronze, silver, gold or platinum rose. And you can, you can probably guess that they vary on how difficult they are to get. So the bronze rose, which is the one we are currently getting, is very easy to get. So easy, medium, hard, very hard. And the very hard is very, very hard. <laughs> 
Also we get a special secret which comes under tricky and that is a dark heart. It's not anything we can use, it's just a different type of secret. I'm not too certain on the idea, but it's just a secret nevertheless. Okie dokie, so here we are, just hop into this gap and here is our bronze secret. So now we can exit and light a torch. So run all the way to the other side. There we go, just come to the tree and grab a torch. And there are two torches in case you lose one. bin lorries outside and it's probably really loud <laughs> so you can only light your torch from this lamp don't light it like that because that won't work <laughs> you've got this sort of sandy looking mound so that makes you tall enough to be able to light your torch and now we have a torch and a skull we can go and open that gate <laughs> I'm trying to block out the sound of the bin lorry. <laughs> I don't know if it's working. Don't even know if you can hear it. Okie dokie. So it doesn't matter which one you do first. I always do that. So may as well do that and then place the skull okay so now we've got this big old face so just climb inside to press a button and it's opened up a pit we can drop down now there is a secret in here which requires the torch so if you want the secret just throw your torch on down. Okay. And it is pretty simple to get down. Just hang from here and let go and grab. Come around the side. Drop. Turn a little bit. Jump. And from here you can safely fall and not take damage. So, in here we've got three doors. We've got a white one there, we've got a dark one with a cross window there and we've got one just to the left, you can just see that on the screen that one's a return path so I will ignore that for now there is absolutely nothing to do in this room but I will just show you anyway just so you can see what's inside there is this scary dude creepy just lie in there and you can see through a window here into a room that we will actually get to later on and that is all there is here there is nothing to do okay so this is where the main area will be there's two doors, so I'll just kick the first one, and I want to take my torch with me now. If you don't take the torch now, it becomes quite a bit more difficult to bring it later on. You will see why later on. Got some skeletons going on. I'm trying to show you, but I can't get to a good angle. Whatever. <laughs> Okie dokie. 
so now you can just place your torch somewhere where you will find it later. I will put mine just there. And in here we've got a route down there and also we've got this big cage in the center. You can just see from here there is a discolored door and a keyhole. And you don't need to open that door with a key because this broken section can just be shot. That truly is gruesome. So in here you can pull this guy out of the way. And he is sitting on a mystery key. And it kind of hints with what to do. Kinda. <laughs> And also, there is a small med pack in here. So if we go up to the section where it just hinted to us. If we approach on the right. <laughs> that key disappears. And if you try and reach into that receptacle to get it back at any time, you will be set on fire. You cannot get that key. That key is not even needed, so this is just another troll bit to make you wonder what on earth is going on with that key. Um, if you put your hand in this receptacle, a wild med pack appears. And you can only get this from the side because a dart trap activates and it is a proper actual dart trap it will poison you and deplete your health so also in this room there is a trap door up there which is why we were given the hint when we picked up the mystery key but we don't actually need to go there yet we didn't even need to pick up the mystery key yet but I just thought I'd do it anyway so now we have it. So if you want to save them for later, it doesn't really matter. What we need to do is come down this way. Be very careful because there is a very deep pit. Can't even see it. And we can get down there. So if you look at my health, I have just a tiny bit over half. You need to top your health up. So now I have full health. And when you drop down, you will want to do it from this side because this is the lowest point you can drop from. And look at how much health I have now. That is a long ass drop. So now crawl on through. So you can stand up. Can we stand up yet? Yes. So when you come into this section, it's not too obvious where we want to go firstly, but just come to the right and jump up here. You want to come to the very tip and you want to run and jump straight forward. Sometimes she doesn't make it. You need to be as far back as you can possibly get. So even now it's not obvious where to go, but we're actually aiming. You see there are bricks just up in the corner over there, just kind of half behind Lara's head. There is a passage there and that's where we're going. Oh, well, that didn't work. I wasn't far enough back. Come on. Gonna be here all day, I can tell. I can tell these things, you know. Oh.
let's try a half tile. That's something I don't often try. There we go. Because I've noticed sometimes you don't get enough distance in a half tile jump. I might just be imagining that, but I feel as though you don't get as much distance. So you can see a bit better now where we're heading. And we're jumping now to those reeds up that are sprouting out of Lara's head <laughs> over there. So this is definitely a half tile jump section. Okay. And then straight up. Now something I don't always explain is the half tile jump. So like a running jump, you can press jump at any moment and she will always jump after the second step. So when you do a half tile jump, I think some people also call it the walk jump or something like that, uh, you walk for two steps and at any point in those two steps you can take your finger off the walk button and immediately press the jump button. So to line yourself up you just take two steps back from like an edge and then walk and now that when I said now that was the moment I took my finger off the walk button and immediately pressed jump and she jumped after the second walk step. So coming on through there is a gap in the wall there we can enter but I am actually going to leave that for next time because we get some spooky Tomb Raider 3 music activate and I love the music <laughs> so we're going to save that for the next level we'll activate that in the next video so thank you for watching I hope it's not been too gruesome for you and I'll see you next time take it easy guys